Hello, this is Manash Patel with Ichimoku Trade. Today is May 11th, 2016. This is another trade review where we're going to talk about an options trade. Well, we're going to talk about Toyota Motors today uh, where we did a pre-earning strategy on options. And we'll talk in detail about it in just a moment. Uh, basically, it was a trade that we took yesterday uh, for earnings, which happened this today. And basically, we're right at a one-to-one -one reward risk ratio and higher within one day. So let's begin. This is our normal disclaimer to, uh, where we basically state this is for education use only. We're not soliciting a buyer or selling a particular instrument. If you do so, you are doing that at your own risk. All the information is owned by EII Capital Group. It cannot be copied or distributed without our written permission. We are broker neutral, so we support various charting platforms out there. Today we're going to be using Thinkorswim from TD Ameritrade since we're dealing with options. Remember, this is for education use only, even though we're showing you a real life trade that we've taken. Uh, this is still for education use only. Here's our contact details. So if you need to get a hold of us, you can email us here or you could call us at any one of our office locations here. So let's begin. Now, one of the strategies that we teach in the Options University is, is that it's a pre-earning strategy. A lot of people shy away from earnings trades, uh, especially before. reason why is volatility is typically high. Also, it's a little crazy going into earnings and so forth. However, we teach you how to safely maneuver through pre-earning strategy if that's something of interest for you. In the pre-earning strategies, there's a couple of different ways you can look at it and you could look at uh, mini strategies. Uh, one trade review we did uh, was with Macy's where basically we took the trade about two weeks ago, two to three weeks ago. In that trade what we're doing is we're trying to capture the delta and the volatility of that trade go before it goes into earnings and maybe even during earnings and after too. The pre-earning strategy one day before in this goal here is to basically to trade a technical chart. Okay. So over here, before earnings yesterday, this is a trade that we looked at yesterday before market closed. And what happened was Toyota earnings was sitting right here at this red line resistance here, which is at 103.61. Today it's dropped down 6,038.6 and 6% move. But yesterday when we were looking at this, this was basically sitting at a major Ichimoku resistance on a weekly time frame. So at that point, we're looking to basically short this instrument here using options. To do that, basically, you are looking at put side. Okay. Now, normally what happens is, is that the volatility before earnings is typically high. Sometimes that's not high at all, but for Toyota Motors, it was high. As a result, we had to sit there and switch to a strategy that had a sell leg in there. So normally, we like buying calls and puts. Uh, but in this scenario here, since the volatility was high, we had to do a vertical spread. So we here, you could see the vertical spread here, where basically we bought the 100 puts here, we sold the 95 puts. And if you look at the risk graph here, we basically did this for $87 per contract, is the trade that we put on. The reward here, we were looking at 419. So you could easily see that this is a 3 to 1 reward risk ratio trade that we're looking for. Okay. The goal was is that in order for us to get a 3 to 1 reward risk ratio, it had to break this pivot low. And it was going to take a little while to get there, and that's one of the reasons why, if you look here, we did a June option. We didn't do the May option at all. We're kind of looking for this at least to take 30 days for it to do that. So in earnings, we we're hoping it would got close to the pivot low, which it kind of did here. And then what we're looking for in the next couple of days or weeks to sit there and break it uh, by the time June expiration comes and break it and to sit there and come down here close to about $92 a share or so forth uh, in order for us to be successful with this trade and get to 3 to 1. If you look at the risk graph today, you could see that basically we spent $87 on this contract. You could see it's worth 115 already. So we're at over a 100% return over a one to one. So you know that's something where if you want, you could take some contracts off. Uh, but we're gonna sit there and ride this thing out uh, because the technical charts basically tell us that it has a possibility of keep on going lower. If you felt like this is close enough to the pivot low, you could walk away with 100% of your profits right now uh, based on your risk. Uh, but 
you know, or what you could do is you could take 50 or 75 percent of your positions off and let the rest go. In this account here, this is what we call our student account. Uh, we show students how you can make money off one contract successfully. So in this one, we have one. So what we've done is on the technical charts, we're not taking this one off. Uh, since we believe that it still could go lower so what we're going to do is we're going to keep this trade on here and we're going to keep on walking forward with it uh, with a very tight stop on the technical charts okay so that's basically this trade here that we've taken um, this is a pre-earnings trade and you can see easily how you can make over a hundred percent return which is over a one-to-one -one reward risk ratio uh, with due to volatility due to delta moves and stuff like that remember this all started on the technical charts and that's the way we always basically teach you how to do it. you gotta learn how to do the technical charts in order to successfully trade options because options are just a tool if you guys have any questions you could contact us here at uh, this email address here or you could contact us at any of our office locations here